I get. <coughs> I guess in this video, I am going to discuss what count a string length without using inbuilt function. So there is a length function. So without using length function, uh, we have to count the length of any string of words. So I have to enter the string or words. So I enter hello friend. So add uh, this. There is a uh, uh, five character and here uh, or uh, seven. So this is fine. Here, yeah, seven. So seven plus five, the value come thirteen, and one is blank space. Seven plus five, the value come twelve, and twelve plus one blank space, the output come thirteen. So let's, uh, let's uh, see the code. Let's execute the code. So add your enter the string words. So I'm going to enter hello. So add your the output is uh, hello friends 13. So add your, you can also give alien length is and uh, just try execute the code and here just write hello guys so right here length is or 10 hello guys length is 10 so if you give some space between uh, this value and I value. So let's execute one more time. I friend. So right here, I friends length is 10. So 2 is uh, HI and friends or uh, 3. Add here, friend is 7 character, 7 plus 2, 9. And you have one blank space. So total length is 10. Next, I'm going to discuss about the try and method of this program. So if you debug the code, control comes to main method. Here after that coincides. So right here, I've taken a string value str. And uh, here after console cross dot write method. So what are we dot code that display into the output screen? So enter the string words so that display into the output screen. And here after console dot read line, str equal to console dot read line. So what do I am going to enter? So that is by str. So I am going to enter str value as e l l o. And here after one more variable i. Here after I have taken for each loop. So about the for each loop. So that receive str value. And that uh, square c in str. So str value that go one by one into c. So I right here this is a zero index. Here, 1, here, 2, here, 3, here, 4. So, first time, so here I am not printing C value. So, 1 by 1, or uh, that to I value. So, I value initially start from 0. So, here after that, uh, H go to C, and here after control go inside. So, right here, console dot write. So that print str 0 position value. So h print here after i increase, so i is 1 now. And here after loop continue, so again that go. So this time i value is 1. So here after that coincides, so this time that print str 1 position value. So e print now here after i increase, so i is 2 now. So again str 2, so this time that receive or str 2 that go into c. And that print str of i. So that print, that print and here after i is 3 now. So i is 3. So str 3 position that go to c. str 3 position value go to c. 
Hereafter consult or try it. So this time that print str three position value. So error print. Hereafter i is for now. So this time that str four position value go to c. And hereafter str four position value is o. So error print. Hereafter i. So i is five now. So str five position there is no any value. So hereafter no no nothing will go to null value go to n c. And hereafter there is no any value then for each loop. That terminate now. Control comes to this point. Console class dot write method. So slash a that print the value of i. So i value is five. So that print five. So right here this is the program. So here I have given console dot write. So if you give console dot write or line and here so. First time str of zero position value, so I am going to into hello h e double l o. So zero index first time that receive h. So first time that print h. Next e. Next new line l. New line o l and in line o. And uh, thereafter that print length is five. So let's so. So first time that receive h index value h e l l o. So this is str zero, str one, str two, str three, str four. So at here I print to str value. So you can write simply c. So the same output will come. Let's execute. And here let's enter h e double l o. So at here the same output come. Length is five. So one by one str value. Suppose if I enter hello, so first time zero index h is there, so h go to c, so that print h. Here after one position e, so e go to c, so e print. And next or uh, two index l, so l go to c, so c print. Here after l again, so str three position l, so l go to c, so l print. Str four position o, so o go to c and o print. And a total numbers of i, so i value is now five. So five, so that length is five. So here you know, when there is no any value in or uh, str, so there after that out from for each loop. So this is the dry end method of this program. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week.